What's up, gorgeous? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, feel free to say hello in the comments below. Um, and if you've been watching for a while, welcome back. So today, my lovely Taurus, uh, we are gonna look at what is going on with you and your person is uh, basically what we're gonna do. I'm gonna look at your feelings for them, their feelings for you, mutual energies, and if we need a an extended, um, we'll do that. We'll see. We might not. We'll see what's going on. All right. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. Um, it's 1215 in the afternoon by me. So good afternoon or good morning. If you're on the West coast and just getting up. All right. Please remember as always that just because you are a Taurus, and you are amazing. Uh, that does not mean that any part of this reading will resonate with you. So take what resonates and leave the rest and never ever try and force, don't do it, uh, never try and force a reading to fit your situation. It just doesn't work, you know, it doesn't work. And then on top of that, then you come at me in the comments, getting all pissed off, and blah, blah, blah. You guys know. Some of you that know have done that. So <laughs> I'm just saying, not everything's gonna resonate. Sometimes a reading, sometimes, you know, sometimes some of it does, sometimes none of it does. Sometimes the whole thing does, it just depends. But you know, not every Taurus in the entire galaxy is gonna have the same situation going on at the exact same time or at all. So just keep that in mind. All right. So I'm gonna start with your feelings for them and then, then I'll go into their feelings for you and then we'll uh, tap into the mutual energy. So, okay, um, Spirit, please bring through clear and accurate messages for the Taurus Collective, please. Um, what are Taurus's feelings for their specific person right now? What are Taurus's feelings for this person? Oh, okay. Ah. Knight of Wands, Three of Pentacles. All right, let's get two more. What are Taurus's feelings for their person? The Empress, there's your energy, Taurus. That's Taurus Libra energy, actually. Okay, what are their feelings for their person? Taurus, all right, this is beautiful. Wow, this is beautiful, okay. Well, let me, let me go ahead and do your person's feelings before I jump into this. And then we'll do mutual and then I'll talk, talk about what I'm seeing here. Okay, um, Spirit, what are, what are this person's feelings for Taurus? Two of Wands, okay. What else? What are this person's feelings for Taurus right now? Two of Pentacles. Four of Swords. Oh. <laughs> okay. Interesting, the Ace of Swords came out. What is the mutual energy, please? Mutual energy, thank you. Ooh, beautiful, okay. Okay, so I had to stop the video for a quick second right after I flipped this card and I put these these cards down. So I don't even know if I said anything. I don't think I did, um, but here we go. Second, I saw the mutual energy as this, the Hierophant here. I think a marriage could be involved in this energy that I'm picking up right now. Doesn't have to be, you know, not everyone's gonna be married. Um, there could be an engagement involved or there was one. Every once in a while, this could mean a very long-term commitment, but really the mutual energy here, I'm talking about marriage potentially. Um, so if that does not resonate with you, that's absolutely okay. Um, but the Hierophant rarely comes out and coming out as mutual energy that 
I mean, two people in, in, involved in the same situation, this would mean that there is marriage. So let's discuss. Okay, so your feelings for this person, Taurus, you are, hmm, I think this is beautiful. I'm not the biggest fan of the Knight of Wands, I'll be honest with you, only because the Knight of Wands energy is very, it could tend to be a cut and run sort of energy, like when things are going good, you, or should I say, the Knight of Wands energy will stick around, right? But the second that something gets bad or something, you know, goes a little bit downhill in some way, the Knight of Wands energy just kind of cut and run, right? Like that's that's basically what the Knight of Wands does. Um, it's very hot and cold for me. It's very in and out. So I feel like for some of you, that might be what's going on right now. There might also be, well, act, there is for sure. There is, there's a lot of sexual chemistry here as far as you towards them. And I'm sure them towards you, but it's just not coming up yet. But you towards them, um, you're very attracted to them, especially with this Empress here too. The Knight of Wands and the Empress, you are definitely attracted to them. And again, this is Taurus Libra energy. So this could, you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, you don't have to be, but you could be. There's, a, there's quite a few different, I mean, and then also Taurus, this is your energy right here, the Hierophant as well, even though it is marriage too. Um, this is Taurus. So I feel like you, as far as your feelings for this person, you want to work together with this person to make this connection work. And I almost want to say make this connection work again, because I feel like looking at your person's energy down here, first of all, your person is manifesting this. Your person, whatever's going on with you guys, they are manifesting um, an outcome to this, whether you're aware of it or not. And I feel like the reason I'm saying make this work again is because of these cards down here. There's a reason that your person is feeling a need for some emotional rest right now when it comes to you. Something happened here. Something definitely happened between you and this person. Um, and I almost feel like, I almost feel like things are starting to pick back up again and they could go in quite a few different directions if I'm honest. You, you, you feel happily ever after with this person. You feel like this person is your person. Um, but I think your, whoever this person is to you, for some of you, I almost get the feeling that even though this 10 of cups is coming out, the empress is coming out, beautiful cards, right? You want to nurture this connection. You want to grow this connection. You want it to be, you know, this happily ever after, like I said. I feel like for some of you, even though there's some great cards here, you want to work together. I feel like you're wishy-washy. And the reason I feel that way is because this person that you're dealing with, I see the two of wands, the two of pentacles, the four of swords, and the magician. This person would not feel like they need to manifest stuff or manifest this commitment or relationship or the outcome of this situation if they knew where they stood. And I don't think that they know where they stand with you, which is why I'm seeing the two of wands, the two of pentacles. So I feel like all is well and good, you know, for how you might feel and for maybe what you want, but I feel like I feel like they're not 100% um, confident about where you stand. I might want to, I might possibly do an extended on this. I'm thinking I might, because um, I want to know. <laughs> I'm curious, because these feelings, like I said, they're beautiful, 
but something in your connection is making this person feel this way making them feel like you know there is they feel when it comes to you something happened involving you that took a turn where they felt the need to heal their heart in some way and possibly may even still be healing their heart while this is all going on i'm not really sure yet that's why I, I, i'm going to definitely do an extended because i want to know i want to know what your person wants to happen because i don't see any cups here i mean you have a gorgeous ten of cups here i don't see any cups here and i want to make sure that your person that has gone through some distance from you and healing themselves in some way still want something with you because you seem to want to work together with them on something um maybe building this up again like i said or yeah yeah it's got to be because these all connect here um let me just before i go into the extended let me see if i can pull do i want to do let's do some magic eight ball Let's just see. Spirit, um, tell me about uh, Taurus and this person. Tell me about this connection. What does Taurus need to know? And the eight ball does not want to speak. Come on. There we go. Right as I say it, it's usually what happens. Spying. Mm. Okay. Taurus, you might be spying on them. They might be spying on you. Or it might be, you know, both of you. Interesting. I didn't see any cards here that would say that. But spying. What else, please, Spirit, for Taurus and this person? Just Runner situation. Okay. Okay, now this is starting to make a little bit more sense. Taurus, did you run from this person initially? Because is that why they're having to heal their heart here? Let's see more. Let's see more. Spirit, uh, one more please for Taurus and this person. Tell me about this connection. Storm warning. Ooh, okay. Okay. Well, now I definitely want to know what the hell's going on. <laughs> <laughs> now I have to know. Um, all right. I'm going to take this to an extended. If any of this resonated with you and you do want to check out the extended, feel free to. The link will be in the description box below. If you want me to look further into your specific situation, um, I am more than happy to do that. There are personal readings now up on my website that are open at this time. They book up very quickly. So if you did want one, I would definitely check that out ASAP. Um, and if not, Thank you for spending some time with me today. And um, as always, please be well, stay safe, take care, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. Bye.